Palantir shares soared on Friday, December 22nd, closing up 25.4% to $32.58. Shares went as high as 26%, the most since early November, despite no new catalysts, except for anticipation on the rapidly approaching Demo Day event which will take place on January 26th at 4.30 p.m. Today, I'm going to provide an update on PLTR and discuss how you should go about trading around this Demo Day event. Booyah, Jim. Booyah. Dylan, in Arkansas, Dylan. Booyah, Jim. This is uh, Dylan from Arkansas. I'm a high school economics teacher, and I was wondering your thoughts on Palantir as a long-term play. Long-term play, yes, because I think they do great technology. Unfortunately, we don't really know exactly what they're up to. They have a lot of uh, contracts that we can't break into, but I do think that cybersecurity is good, and I think that Palantir ah. is right. Demo day. Just as a review, and to address Jim Cramer's concerns about the lack of information, the Demo Day event will include public demos of the latest developments for its Foundry and Gotham software platforms, with examples of how commercial and government customers use the software, as well as discussion around the latest developments on the continuous delivery and infrastructure program Apollo. And finally, Palantir will announce and demonstrate new software modules such as Titan. In ARK Invest's email newsletter stock commentary, they said, quote, Palantir shares climbed 25% on Friday, perhaps in response to an update on its demo day scheduled for January 26th. The event will demonstrate the latest versions of its Foundry, Gotham, and Apollo software platforms, end quote. While this is not the case, since the press release they are referring to was put out a full day before the rally, at least ARK has made $3 million from its recent addition of 400,000 shares of PLTR. Check out shares of Palantir popping uh, today on reports that Kathy Wood's ARK Invest bought nearly half a million shares of the stock for its next-gen ETF. Palantir of more than 260% since its market debut at the end of September. Jeff, what do you think of this one? Yeah, so I understand buying it. Um, if you look at 2021, I think revenues are supposed to grow over 30%. And we're in this world where investors are still looking for growth. I just think they're going to be looking for it outside of your usual suspects, your usual tech, your usual fang names. Um, and here you have a, a company with a really high quality product. Um, the switching costs are high, so it is very sticky. I just think the question is what price you get in. If you look at the chart, it's failed at that 28, 29 level about three times. So I would use that level again as an indication of momentum upward or downward, at least in the near term. And I think there are some stumbling blocks, mm -hmm. say, over the next six to eight months. You have the six-month lockup expiring. Um, there is a risk of a reprioritization of some government budgets, and that could affect their contracts. So for me, it's a long-term buy. I just think you might be able to get it at a lower price. Yeah, a top shelf stock, absolutely. And, and I think, you know, knowing, knowing the investing genius of Kathy Wood, I think that's exactly what she's thinking as well. So, you know, if you're going to buy this, understand why, what the time frame is. It's a long-term buy. Put it in your top shelf. You're going to be happy with it. I look forward to any coverage that ARK Invest chooses to put out following Demo Day. New contract. There have been many new contracts over the past few months. Earlier in the week, Palantir announced a new multi-million dollar deal with energy company PG&E. Palantir's head of utility sector and senior advisor to the CEO says, quote, Our engagement with California's largest investor-owned utility underlines our commitment to increasing safety and reliability for customers and communities across the region. It shows our Foundry software can power data-driven decisions that aim to improve service delivery, end quote. This is the first time that a major U.S. utility is using Foundry for its operations. The expiry. Palantir is expected to report earnings in early to mid-February, and the lockup expiry will hit three days later, the moment of truth for the company. All eyes will be on PLTR when it reports its Q4 results in a few weeks. While bears expect its growth momentum to slow down in the near future, bulls believe its growth trajectory is poised to accelerate. Therefore, all new information should be pivotal for the perception of Palantir and their likelihood to become a power business. And just after everyone gets some time to digest the results, the highly anticipated and somewhat feared lockup period will expire, surely allowing for some turbulent trading. At this present moment, I have no more to add as I don't have any more specifics concerning what I think will happen, although I have laid out the different scenarios in prior videos. Overall, it is important to remember two key ideas. One, everyone knows this is coming 
and therefore I think that there are many that are interested in the company that remain on the sidelines until the upcoming turbulence is over, and 2. Be prepared for selling for those that get liquidity. Just be safe is all. Trading range. Yes, Palantir shares have been trading at a premium compared to other names in the software industry because of its elevated growth rates. With the upcoming earnings call, that should be a great time for investors and some of the more bearish analysts to determine whether the company can sustain its growth trajectory and indeed justify its current trading multiples along the way. So I'll be looking forward to the Q4 earnings call and subsequent analyst coverage on future prospects, contract duration, contract liabilities, and sales guidance for fiscal year 2021, which will all shed light on growth momentum and indicate to which direction Palantir shares head next. I don't know what will happen, of course, but I wouldn't be surprised to see an all-time high before or just after demo day, given how much excitement we saw even just on Friday. Trading Demo Day Let's talk about Demo Day stock performance. Any trade focused on one event is 100% speculation. However, it could be a way to add to a long-term position at perhaps a better price than after Demo Day, if the stock really takes off. So let me break it into two situations before Demo Day. I do expect a continuation, even if it is just a little more on Monday, of this pre-Demo Day rally. Of course, nothing is guaranteed, but excitement should continue to build just like it did when tons of retailers jumped on board last year. If you are wondering if you should buy before Demo Day, as a long-term investor, ask yourself, will the investment community and institutional investors understand Palantir's presentation? Will they understand and or believe PLTR's plans for software platform domination? That is something you have to decide before the event if you want to buy into PLTR just before Demo Day at current prices. After Demo Day Palantir stock could perform well in the days following the event with more and more media coverage. However, this event has been anticipated for weeks at this point, and much of what Palantir is likely planning to show off could already be baked into the stock price with the recent run-up. There will be things that get presented that were not yet recognized, but will they be significant enough? That's another speculative question you must answer. I think there could definitely be a pullback following the event if the hype dies down and is more focus in on the approaching lockup expiring. If you really are making a trade around Demo Day, I advise you to extrapolate, think and reason, what makes sense and what is likely to happen, knowing what you know about the extreme volatility of this stock. To be quite honest, that move on Friday surprised me. Were you expecting it? Are you making any moves around Demo Day as a long-term investor, or are you just holding on? and enjoying the ride. I hope this PLTR update was insightful. Until next time.